Okay, so in this part we are going to create and add the actual score of the game. Um, before we bring in the scroll in combat text so that the player uh, can see the points over the over the power-ups on the ground, we will have to add the score in the top right corner here and add some score when we click the mouse button and when we collide with um, those power-ups. So right now I'm using the newest version of the downloadable content and in this version we have the player that we can move to left and to right and he can uh, roll out on this path here and he can pick up some power-ups and you can also die if he runs off the off the edge here and then there's going to be a button that says click to restart. So in later versions we are going to add a menu here and the top score and so on but in this part we are going to focus on the um, text over our power-ups and the t text with the score in the top left corner. So let's start adding the score. Basically the score is just a text on the screen and we already have a uh, canvas here we can use to add the text. So, so you can simply click on the canvas and then right click on it and click the UI button, UI button and then select the text. And this is going to be our score text. If you look at the score text in the scene view you'll see that it's inside this big square box here. And this big square box is basically our screen width and height. So if you're inside the square box, you'll see that you're also inside the screen that we can see. So right now I place it in the middle and the text is basically placed in the middle of the screen. So to make this easier or to make this more readable, we would like to put it in the top right corner here. So you can take the text and move it all the way to the top right corner. So you can see here, it aligns fine with the edge and the uh, edges both in the side and the top, but um, we would like there to be a little gap between the text and the right side. But first we will need to move the text to the right side so that it moves all the way over here. And we can do that if we have selected the text, then we can simply go to our paragraph here and select the right side here for alignment. Besides that, we would also want it to be more centered so we can select the center alignment here. Besides that, we will also have to set the best fit. So on the best fit here, you can click the button to make the text fit better inside uh, the box here. And then you can make the box like as small or as large as you want to. Let's keep it at this or something. Okay, when we have a best fit, we have a minimum and a maximum size. And this will basically decide how much we can scale the text when we move it like uh, in like this and we scale it up like this. If you would move the if you will increase the maximum size here, um, the maximum size will affect how much text that can be inside this before it gets small. And besides, you can also set the minimum size to 50 or something, and then the minimum size is also fixed. But now it can't be inside this box here. Anyway, you can play around with these numbers here to make it fit your needs. Let's say that minimum size is 10. Anyway, the only thing we would need here is the score. So we're simply gonna write a zero and basically um, the zero here needs to be a little away from the edge. So to make it move it away from the edge, we can select the text and then drag it a little in here so that you can see that it's not totally up against the edge here. Um, we can change the minimum and maximum size, uh, maybe say 20 and 20. And then I guess we can scale it up a little, maybe more than 20, 25. 30 let's see if we can make it 30 yeah I guess that's maybe a little better so basically you can you can play around with these uh, numbers here so that they fit your needs so the number has the correct size for your size um, the easiest thing is basically to put the minimum and the maximum size at the same same size and then just rescales the scale the text box so that it fits with the number and as you can see here we can easily get lots of points uh, without any problems here but uh, let's start it out at zero. Okay, so now we have the text in our top left corner. Now we need to add some score to it so that we can see whenever we uh, increase or gain some score. So you basically have to open up your player script. And inside your player script, you will need to go to the top of the script. And in here, we are going to make a private integer. And it's going to be equal to score. And it's going to be equal to zero from the get go. When you've done that, you would need to make a public text and it's going to be called score text. And this is basically going to be your score text that we are going to change whenever we click the mouse button. 
Um, if you can't reach the score text class here, you'll simply have to go to the top of your your um, your script and write unit using Unity Engine UI, and then this one to turn a blue or green or whatever, depending on the um, IDE you're using. Okay, so now we have our score and our score text, but the score text needs to change according to how much the player has scored. So right now we're simply going to go to our input here and whenever we click the mouse button we are going to increase our score with one so here we are going to write score plus plus so now we increased our score and we are going to say um, what did I call it score text score text dot text equals score to string so now our score text is going to be um, equal to the score so we can see the score out in our game so here we're gaining one but you can take this and copy it and then you can go all the way down because here there's on trigger enter when we enter a pickup and when we do that we are going to instantiate our um, particle system and besides the particle system we will have to increase our score plus equals three because we want to get three points but that's what they get in the right in the in real zigzag game so let's try to save, jump into Unity, and then we have to select the player. First of all, we have the score text here, we'll need to assign. So we're going to take our new text, we can simply just rename it to score text to make it easy to find it. Select the player and drag the score text all the way to the empty object here. So if we run the game and we click our mouse button, you'll see that we are getting one score every time we click the mouse and we are getting free every time we um, collide with a um, power up so now we have our score but if we maximize our game and play it you'll notice that our score might not be always be uh, placed in the right position here you might have it placed a little out here um, when you maximize the game it's because I'm playing in web player so the size is not going to change Give me a sec, I'm going to try to switch it to Windows. So now you'll see that it already moved kind of. And when I maximize it here, you'll see that it, it's basically in the middle of my screen. And that's not intended. We need to keep it in the top right corner here. And to be able to keep it in the top right corner, we have to select the score text. Move it a little to the side here, the top, and then just move it where you want it. And then you simply have to uh, select the score text, go to the rectangle transform, click here, and then select the top right corner. So the anchor point is in the top right corner, which means that the distance between the anchor point and all these four points is always going to be the same. So man, no matter how big the screen gets, there's always going to be the same distance. So if I play the game now, you'll see that the score is still in the top right, uh, right corner here, and I'll still be able to see it in the side of the screen instead of seeing it here in the middle. Uh, remember, if you want the text to be larger in your game, um, you can always make this box larger and then set the max uh, size to, for example, 100 or something. Then the, the number here is, of course, also going to get bigger. And it's also going to fit your screen better when you play in a full screen mode, for example. Uh, by the way, one more thing before we end this part of the tutorial. If you want the um, text to scale with screen size, actually, I just remembered we can do this. Um, if we play the game, for example, right now, the text is kind of small and you might want it to fit any screen size you're playing. So basically, you can uh, simply set it up with the size that you want from the get go. Uh, let's say we want it like this on our screen. Then just put your max size to a very large number like 100. And if you select the pivot point here, the, uh, sorry, not the pivot point, the, the anchors and click here, then you can make sure that it, it can stretch in the, what is that called? Vertical direction here, stretch here, just select this one down here, because then the anchor points are able to stretch up and down and up and down is what makes the text bigger in this case when we have set it. So there's one more thing we need to do, but I'm going to show you um, this in steps because as you can see when we scale it up here the number is going to get bigger 
Let's just leave it like this. And if you play the game now, you see that the number is, is kind of larger here. Um, even if I would put it like this, so it's kind of small when I played in not maximized screen size, then when I played, the number gets larger here in maximized. But you can see that the number actually moves on the screen. Um, if you want it to be in the top right corner at all times, you can simply take the alignment here, paragraph alignment, and select the top one here to the left because then it stays in the top of the box and you'll see that it now is in the top of the box all the time. So now it actually scales with your screen size way better as you can see here. So it's easier to read whenever you play a game in full screen mode or on a computer instead of um, a simple mobile device. And of course this also works for the different mobile devices you will um, export your game to. So that was the part with the score in the top right corner and I'm going to wrap this part here. In the next part we are going to have a look at how we can merge the scrolling combat text with this game so that we can actually see our points um, on the screen as well.